Hi, I'm Ken. I'm a wood carver. I live in Camarillo, California. What you're looking at is a one-third sized ruffed grouse. I got the idea from a magazine called Wild Fowl Carving. You can find their website on the internet by searching for it, or you can look for the link on my website, kenscarving.com. The original plans came from the fall of 2009 issue of the magazine, and the following issue in the winter of 2010 had the painting instructions. The bird is carved from tupelo, which is very similar to basswood, but tends not to fuzz as much when you're using high-speed burrs as basswood. I got the wood at Woodcraft in Ventura, California, which is not too far from me. And it was about the same price as basswood, which made the decision to buy it pretty easy. Uh, it's not as abundant or as readily available as basswood. But like I said, it carves very nicely, and I think I'm going to continue to use it because I tend to use a mix of power carving and uh, knife and gouge carving. Uh, combined. The challenge in doing this bird for me was not only is it uh, a nice a, compl a nice challenging carve because of the size of it, one of the things you'll discover when you're carving is that the smaller the scale, the smaller the things you're trying to carve. Uh, in the future I'm going to recarve this in full size and I'm also going to do it again at this scale, because I know uh, those of you that have carved a while have probably discovered that if you do something a couple, two, three times, you get better at it. This was my first attempt. It turned out pretty good, but I uh, know some things that I'll do differently on the next one. And probably when I do the next one, I'll find some more things that I can do to make it better for the, the third or fourth copy. In making the feet, because it's one-third size, you can't just go out and buy already made feet for it. But the instructions in the magazine tell you how to make it out of wire and two-part epoxy. And it was an interesting challenge, and I think they turned out looking pretty good. The talons are actually the ends of the wire, which you can file a little bit to make them look like they taper down. The instructions tell you to use brass rod. I couldn't find any brass rod, but because of the size of the bird, yeah, I think it's well supported with the wire that I did find and use. It was the same diameter. I think it was a, just a little more flexible than flat brass rod would have been. If you're looking for brass rod, by the way, I could not find any locally, but I did a web search and found a supplier. And the next time I do a bird, I'm going to have a lot of brass rod. In fact, on my next project, I'm going to be using it to make the legs and feet, as I did here. I'm going to rotate the bird around a little bit now so you can get a look at it and hopefully uh, get a pretty good perspective of it. You can see my hands, and the bird uh, would pretty much fit in the palm of one of my hands, so it's not a very large bird. As I said, it's one-third size. They're found... Uh, around in lots of different parts of the United States. I grew up in the Northwest, and it was frequently running along the road. I never got a, this close a look at one, or at least not one that was alive. Uh, but they are very pretty. They come, the colors tend to vary with the seasons. Uh, but uh, this looks pretty much like I remember seeing them as a youngster growing up, uh, as I said, in the Northwest. Okay, that's my ruffed grouse. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at it, and I hope that you'll come back soon, visit my website, and see some more pictures of other carvings that I'm doing. Thanks for visiting, and have a good day.